Welcome to another exciting tutorial with Blue Roots Media Marketing. Micah here. What we're going to learn to do here today is how to use the marquee tool. It's this little square thing right up in here. Um, it's very, very simple. Go ahead and you make a square. Um, another cool thing is if you want to add to it, you have this up here, or you can press Shift and you can go ahead and add to it. I'll go back over here so you can see it makes a little plus sign, normal plus sign. If you want to go ahead and subtract, you press the Alt button and it will subtract, or you can select that tab right there, subtract. All right, if you want to intersect, so say you made this right here, but you only want this right here, this like little whatever that is, just go ahead and there you go. And you can also do that by pressing Alt and Shift and it will intersect it that way. You also have the elliptical, which you can take and come in here and make a shape of her face. Um, same tools do the same thing, Alt minus it. Shift, I'll go ahead and add to it. And in this, which makes no sense to me whatsoever, please somebody comment, subscribe, and tell me what purpose this would make. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to show you the little single row, single row marquee, and single column marquee does the same thing, but it will only select, if I will zoom in there, a row of pixels like I said I don't understand there has to be a reason I guess if you were to go in there and select the blur filter up here and then do a field blur or an average blur um, on one line make it perfect yeah you know whatever so let's zoom out and get back to this tutorial I am I'm done with my rant basically fit the screen all right so, the other purpose of this is that, you know, you can come in here and you can make a circle and then highlight your paintbrush tool and whatever, you have to make a new layer, sorry, and whatever you select inside this circle, it's going to happen, okay? So, there you go. If you haven't learned the history thing by now, it's pretty cool. Um, and to get rid of this circle... Uh, just go ahead and press deselect or command D or control D I think it is on Windows I don't remember I haven't touched the Windows machine in years and so cool things here's her face oops mistake okay so we got the marquee tool here's her face go ahead and you can highlight it you can make it fit right there now there's two options you can take here and you can select your little cut tool, your little uh, positioning tool right here. And let me get rid of the, get rid of the layer. All right, yeah, delete the layer. Here's the background, and you can cut her out. Or you can go ahead and press Alt, which will make a copy. Or if you, I guess it would be Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac. And Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows, and you have a new layer. New layer gone right there of her. And so, say you want to go in there and you get rid of that, but we still have this layer right here. You can let's go back to new selection. I mean, marquee up top, top. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, just delete that. Oh, I am not liking this. Anyway, all right, get back to focus. And you want to put some honey face on there? Go ahead, cut it out, put it back in. You gravy. So that's basically the marquee tool in a nutshell. I hope it helps you. Um, just play with it. Like I said, I show you these tools not to be literal because I'm not a literal person. I'm an artist. And so do what you want to do. Make what you want to make and build from there and figure this stuff out. Um... I was doing some, if you haven't seen this, you can also, there's certain tools and stuff like that. There's one more thing that I want to show you. In this marquee tool, go ahead and let's go back to the original opening. 
because I do want to show you this. You can set the feathering. So we set that to 60. You go ahead and you do that. Basically, that's the softness. See what it did right there? And then now you have kind of a ghost effect. That's another cool thing. And you can take in play around with that. I mean, look, there's so many things you can play around with. I hope this helps. I hope that this video does some good for you. Check out our website, www.blue-rootsmarketing.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash blue-rootsmm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, even favorite this, favorite this video. Any questions, any comments, please write below. And if there's a video you want me to make, let me know.